Well, thanks so very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. First, Mr. Crane has been nominated for Undersecretary of Energy <coughs> and Infrastructure. He has been deciding where to put dollars to work in the energy sector for decades. He's largely focused his career on directing investment away from energy that is available when we need it. And he has directed investment toward energy that is dependent on the weather. That's the wind and solar. Most notably, Mr. Crane spent 12 years as CEO of NRG Energy, a leading company in the power sector. In a 2016 interview, he openly talked about how he was, quote, fired from that position. During his tenure as CEO, Mr. Crane attempted to shift NRG's energy electric business toward wind and solar and away from natural gas and coal. According to the New York Times, he was fired after the company's share price dropped 63 percent in a year. Mr. Crane later explained at a solar industry conference, quote, we were taking the profits from the coal plants and plowing them into solar development, and at the end of the day, that got to be annoying to the shareholders and the board of directors of the company. Since being fired by NRG Energy, Mr. Crane has called for, quote, name and shame activism against companies that don't describe, subscribe to his ideology. In 2017 essay he wrote on the Green Dream, he argued for the power to reallocate the energy budgets of the world's 100 biggest companies. He would have mandated that they be carbon neutral by 2025. He sought power over, quote, laggards and recalcitrants. He wanted to make employees, employees personally responsible for their company's carbon emissions. Where did prices for consumers fit into this daydream? Nowhere. <laughs> President Biden recently stated that he will be, quote, shutting down coal plants all across America. Mr. Crane appears to be marching in lockstep. American families need affordable and reliable energy. Millions have been forced to decide whether to fill up their tanks with gas, heat their homes, or put food on the table. The Department of Energy's Undersecretary for Energy Infrastructure must support affordable energy. That requires an all-of-the-above energy strategy. And I'm concerned that Mr. Crane may be the wrong person for the job. Mr. Marutian, Mr. Marutian has been nominated to serve as the Assistant Secretary for the Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy at the Department of Energy. The office constitutes the largest applied energy office at the Department of Energy. Among other duties, the office develops and implements mandatory energy efficiency standards for household appliances, such as dishwashers and water heaters. For just over two months, Mr. Marushian has been a senior advisor in the Office of Energy's Efficiency and Renewable Energy. Before that, he served at the White House Office of Presidential Personnel as the director of the Washington, D.C.'s Department of Transportation at the Department, U.S. Department of Transportation and at the Democratic National Committee. His background has little to do with the office to which he has been nominated to lead. It's unclear why he was nominated to a position at the Department of Energy instead of the Department of Transportation. Mr. Rodriguez has been nominated to be Assistant Secretary and lead to the Office of Electricity at the Department of Energy. Since 2014, he has been Vice President in the Energy, Environment, and Infrastructure Practice Group a consulting firm. I'm interested in learning more about his plan for ensuring the nation's electric sector is secure, reliable, and affordable. Look forward to hearing from the, uh, the nominees today, Mr. Chairman.